my good friend, Mr. Rich Bentegi, a.k.a. Filthy Rich. What's up, Rich? Hanging out, hanging out. Guys, welcome back to E3 2013. We are here at the Mad Cats booth. We got a ton of special stuff. Everybody, come on over. Check out what we got going on over here. We're going to be giving out some free stuff for everybody checking it out. Oh, free stuff. Nice. We got some amazing special guests and uh, basically more information, more news on everything Killer Instinct. So it's going to be a killer hour right now. And for everybody at home, send us your questions. We got some pretty special guests for everybody. That's right. On MadCats.TV, let people know about the stream. Also use hashtag MadCatsE3. But let's get it started. So right now you guys have Killer Instinct set up at the Microsoft booth. Here at the Mad Cats booth, we have an awesome custom arcade cabinet that you guys graciously brought over for us. So That's thank right. you for that. So if you guys are ready to see some killer cuts, let's do it. That's right. Not only that, but today we have somebody very special to introduce to the stage. Many of you guys at home probably know exactly who he is. And the people over here kind of feel his glow. But this guy was basically one of the pillars of Killer Instinct. Guys who really brought it out for everybody. He is our creative director on the publisher side, Mr. Ken Lobb. Let's bring him up to the stage. The club is here. The club, yes. Oh, sir, let me hand the mic to you. Hello, everyone. Killer Instinct. So what, what are we talking about? All right, we're just talking about today's craziness. We got an hour full of fun over here. We have the man, I guess, you know what, for anybody that ever had any questions about the legacy of KI and what, where we're at today, I want them to ask us those types of questions. All right. Not only that, but today we got a challenge. Yes, yes we for do. For here, for people on the show floor, we got some pretty big killers in the fighting game community here. We got Mr. Ryan Hart coming all the way from Europe. We got my man Dr. Dog over here doing big things. Today we're going to have an open challenge. Basically, Ken is going to take on the sticks and play people over here, do some schooling. Like the people over at the office call him the sensei. But... If you beat them, we're going to be giving away some free shirts, some free swag to the people. And I think we're going to get things started. But maybe what you could do, well, fill them in. For anybody who doesn't know about Killer Instinct, for the people at home. Okay, cool. So, 1994, I, I was working with Nintendo and obviously working with Rare on some of the stuff they were working on. They started working on a little fighting game, uh, actually funny enough, called Brute Force. And it had no combos. It was, it was sort of a Mortal Kombat-y, Street Fighter-y thing. And I'd been thinking quite a long time, I was a huge Street Fighter fan, and was thinking about what you could do to make combos longer. So I, on one of my many trips to Rare, I brought them this idea of, hey, let me show you this system. Open, auto, uh, end finisher, multi-hit, uh, combo breakers, ultra combos. And like three weeks later, uh, Howard Lincoln says, you need to go back to Rare. They want to talk about that stuff some more. Stayed there for a few weeks. We built out the first combo system with Jago. Uh, Everything else is history. We obviously, over time, added juggles, we added linkers, we, we changed my original terrible idea for combo breakers, did, did a bunch of other stuff. Uh, obviously moved on. Uh, one of the cooler backstories was we had Midway uh, obviously do the distribution for us. So uh, there was this fun day where they handed me an arcade board. Hey, fly to Chicago, show them this thing. Maybe they'll distribute it for us. So I walk in this room and there's about five guys, most of them exec -y types. And I, and I start playing, and like 30 seconds, they're like, wait a second. And all of a sudden, like 20 people file in, including Boone, you know, Tobias, all the guys from basically every designer at uh, Midway, sit in the back of the room, kind of growling at me as I, as I show the demo for about 10 minutes. And then immediately they come up, started playing. And, you know, I was over at the booth with Ed yesterday. We're still friends. Yeah, it, was, it was kind of a cool uh, opening to us realizing, you know, hey, this thing is not just good, it's really good. Now, moving forward in time, I've been trying to get KI to come back forever. You know, it's just, it's, it's kind of what I do. I, again, manage uh, all the designers in first party publishing. So maybe three quarters of the games in our booth are things that I look at, but my baby, right? So I, I got Adam Eisgreen as one of my creative directors over all of the digital content that we work on. And we, we wrote this RFP. If we're gonna do a new KI, it should be something like this. We went out to a bunch of developers and the guys at Double Helix just floored me. And again, I, I know what they are, but it was like, well, yeah, that, we want that. And they're like, well, we kind of got this prototype because we're so excited. You know, and again, just, it was almost like rewinding time. Here's Jago. And it's like, okay, sign, we're done. That was, I don't know, a year ago, 10 months ago, quite a while ago. And uh, since then, we've been playing the hell out of the build every day. Adam gets a new version. He, he happens to, you know, sit two doors down from me so I can constantly come over and, uh, Adam, fight. And uh, yeah, so if you beat me, 
you might want to go see him because he, he does a pretty good job of beating me. Uh, anyway, I don't know if there's any other questions. I like to play, so I don't mind. Uh, That's right. We can play. So now the stage is set. Ken Laub is going to hop on the sticks right now. I think the first person that we need to hop on over here is going to be Mr. Ryan Hart. We're going to bring on some of our developers over at Double Helix Games just to do some color commentary. Fill everybody in on what's going yeah, on. on Maybe a couple of go. hype matches and commentary nice by Mr. Mark Band and myself. But yes, guys, if you will welcome by, guys, welcome back to E3 2013, day two. Check it out, our main stage over here at the Mad Cats booth. We have the godfather himself for Killer Instinct, Mr. Ken Love. And he'll be going up against Western Wolves, Ryan Hart, all the way from the UK. That's right, guys. If you want a chance to play the legend himself, hop on over and play for a chance to win some awesome KI swag. Check out our guys over here from uh, our home studio, Double Helix. We got right, KI folks, shirts. Let's get going. Round one. Oh, we got a mirror match. Jago versus Jago. All right. So I yeah, can't on player one right now. Ooh, Ryan. Drops his combo breaker. Starts off. Nice combo breaker right there by Ken Lob. Oh, whips the dragon punch. Yeah, so he made this game. That's and right. He can, and he the can maker. Wax that. <laughs> you know what that's not in. Nice. It's pretty even here in this first set. That's right. Ken open it up with nice safe fireball into the nice. left kick. Gets the forward heavy kick into Follows the shadow kick combo. And if you guys check it out at home, yes, you can see that it's not building up the combo. Oh, he's okay, going nice. in. Six hits into the jungle right there. Ken got game. Ryan now resorting to Plaza, trying to just find a way to get in. Good drag oh. punch. Oh. He went for the breaker there. I saw him. All right, now Ryan's going to successfully hit up with a nice enter to reset. He's also sitting on half a bar right now. Nice shadow right there. Great reactions there from Ryan. Goes right through. All right, here we go. Now with 70 seconds left on the clock. Mr. Ryan Hart left with a pixel left. Nice, nice. anti right, right through there. It. Answers we're, back with a dragon fight. We're pretty much even. Let's see how it goes. Mr. Ken Lobb and Ryan Hart are going at it here at the Mad Cats booth. Oh, nice anti-air. Oh, here we go. Oh, Confirms into the EX uh, shadow kick. Oh! Nice ender right nice. there. Nice. He confirms with the fireball. He is going in with the combo right now. Let's see what he ends up with. And he only has about 50% of oh, that KD wow. bar. Nice DP. 20% 20, 20 of life. Nice. nice. Right nice. through it. Let's see what he does. Oh. He was going for some meaty stuff. Oh, let's see. He's going to ultra. Here we go. He goes. Nice ultra. You got to cancel. Lob let's see it. It's the first match. Uh -oh. oh. Again. Swag. Swag. Oh, Mr. Lob. Oh. All right, guys, give it up. All the way coming from Europe. You know what, Ryan? You're a great sport. We're going to give you a shirt anyway. You know what? Hop on over to our boys over here. Guys. I know someone that really wanted a player. Who wants a player? Uh, all the way from France, we have Kayane, and she's been saying she's want been wanting to play. She's been loving the game. Do we have Kayane here? If she doesn't come here in Let's about two her. seconds, I'm about to pick someone else. I'm going to pick myself. I want to play this game. But, yeah, we're going to have Kayane. In all the right. meantime, let's go ahead and get meantime, grab someone else. You had to stand up first. I got you next. All right, come up on over this side stage, of the stage, man. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is kind of pass off Thank the you. mics to our developers. Come on up on the stage. We got, oh yeah, hop on over to the stage. We got Dave V and Berserker Mike. Berserker Mike. Kind of fill you, you in. Go, Dave. Educate you on more Thank of what Mark. you're watching at home. These guys know anything and everything about the details. You want frames? Dave over here to fill you in. You want the story? Actually, and everything. Any one of these guys could fill you in. So that's to be for now. Guys, enjoy Killer Instinct over here. Send us some tweets and let us know what you think. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you very much, Rich. Thanks, Just guys. to fill everybody in, Ken is the dirtiest player in the world. He uses every every tactic in the world against you. So we got uh, John Rock and Saber Wolf here, Ken, with his usual Jago. Uh, Ken is a huge fan of Fireball, uh, followed up by the long distance heavy kick, wind kick to put on pressure. Ken just wants to keep you in the corner and just keep feeding that pressure. Forward heavy kick, oh, great read by Ken. Oh, misses the break, oh, but follows up with a shadow uppercut. Uh, shadow follow 
Uppercut, you can follow up with another uh, uppercut there, Ken. Good defense by Ken, trying to apply some pressure if it gets opened up after the failed wing kick attempt. Oh, it's almost a stalemate right there. Oh, right into, just opened him up, put him right back into the corner. Not adding to that KV, but using those shadow moves. Round one goes safe. Round one goes to the sensei, man. <laughs> oh, several trying to figure out a way in. You should start using that high-low from the command run. Oh, that mix-up game. Oh, Ken misses the break on the lights. Oh, on the Saber Wolf. Came up a little bit short damage-wise because he wasn't able to finish it off with an ender before his KV meter capped out. Let's oh. see if uh, Ken oh, can cancels right in the here. instant cancel. Oh, nice oh. cancel. And a big finish with big the uppercut. Finish. 36 percent damage from the Sensei. So during instinct mode, uh, Ken is very positive on all his hits. Positive on hit. To put and in when he's not in block stun, he's gaining health back. Uh, instinct ran out, but Ken's uh, keeping the pressure on, using the fireballs to zone him out. Then he's going to come in, applying more pressure with a double roundhouse. Into the wall spot. Oh, dropped. He KV'd out. Nice job, Ken. Oh, Ken, dominator of souls. Thanks, John. Kayani from France is coming up to the stage to challenge the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, Ken Lop. The spiritual godfather. The spiritual the sensei. godfather. The father to Dave and I and countless other children from the 90s. All right, here comes Kayani. <laughs> Bad props to Ken from Kayani. That's good sportsmanship before Ken tries to add salt. A little known fact about Ken, he is a huge fan of throws in uh, fighting games. Is that Absolutely correct, Mike? Absolutely. That is very correct. <laughs> Ken loves throws, especially when Adam does throws. Tick throws, I think they call them, that he really likes. Uh, when we put in the uh, shadow cancels on Jago's throws, it was the happiest moments of, of Ken's life, I believe. Oh, absolutely. Like, we always try to feed players back into the combo system as often as possible. So one of the additions to Jago to get him back into the combo system was the throw cancels. So we got Ken playing an unusual character for him here. He's rocking Saberwolf. Saberwolf. Uh, Saberwolf just happens to be Jay Wong's favorite character. Oh, applying the pressure. Oh, for nice people break. that don't know, uh, Saber Wolf has no cross up, no air cross up. Yeah, off jump, there's no cross up, but he's got uh, obviously the high low mix up off the run. Lots of pressure. He has a unique, uh, what you consider magic chain. He can go light, medium, heavy, or medium heavy, and then into opener, linker, ender. Cool. Oh my goodness gracious, the dominance by Mr. Lob. Nice pressure. Posturing for position, comes in with a special overhead, goes in the shadow ragged edge, right in a wall splat. Oh, and he backs no, no, off. No follow up. He backs off. Missed breakers. Oh, nice cross up. Crossover with a dash. Continue the crazy mix up. Oh, nice. Shadow nice. Eclipse. Shadow Eclipse completely invulnerable uh, no, in startup. No follow up, but Ken's dominating right now. Oh, good break. Oh, uses oh, the unblockable. Good back dash. Oh, excellent back dash. Oh, oh the breaker. <laughs> oh, reading those rabbit doubles. Excellent. Oh, he's reading it. Oh, oh, a little late. Oh, baited the break, but no follow-up. Oh, chips oh, him out. Chipped him out. In instinct mode, Saberwolf gets extra damage on chip. chip out. Look at these reads coming off right now. We might start seeing the poor man's reset. Oh, low slide. Yeah, block. Nicely blocked. Oh, Ken misses the break. Kayani on the comeback. Oh, oh late breaker by Ken. Oh, will oh, we see the able? ultra? There oh. it is. And cancel and back into ultra from Ken. Oh. Oh, and back <laughs> in. Nice job, Ken. Oh. Awesome job, Ken. Oh, 
<laughs> 52 hits from the master. Sensei, rocket is. Excellent job. <laughs> Who's next? Who wants to challenge Ken Lobb to become a legend? It's right up front there. What's your name, gentlemen? Conquer Dog. Dr. Dr. Dog. Dog. Dr. Dog versus uh, Ken Lobb here one more time. We call Dr. Combo Breaker. <laughs> Let's see if Ken goes uh, back looks to like, Saber Wolf. Okay. Or, oh, no, looks no, like Ken's going back to Jago. Back to going his bread to and man. butter. The warrior monk, the unstoppable one. Oh, here we go. Ken's a big fan of the back heavy uh, punch. That's the overhead from Jago, the neck cutter. Oh, yeah. Great way to open up combos, get into the combo system. Likes pushing people into the corner of that wing kick linker. Yeah. And then dominating with the wall splats. Arturo Sanchez loves what he's seeing right now. It's awesome stuff. Ken making sure he keeps good distance. Building up a lot of meter and KI, you build up meter as the opponent blocks your attack. So pressure always is positive for you. Good overheads out of the command run. Dr. Dog, is it? Yeah. Ooh, good juggle, can capitalize. Ken comes back with shadow uppercut. Keeping the pressure on. Oh, good throw. Oh, he got greedy on that wake up. Oh, oh, overhead nice into overhead. combo. Shadow and a big ender. Nice. I was kind of going to try to chip him out. Ooh. Ooh. Just a almost little too far range. to connect. Almost in range to take advantage of that shadow leaping slash. Shadow leaping slash projectile oh. invulnerable. Nice end by Ken. Very stylish. Posture for position. Ken's still in the corner. Oh, Good nice break. break. Good break. Good nice break. break. Crosses the other side, puts Dr. Dog back in the corner, and applying some... Oh! Oh, Ken misses the break, but Dr. Dog drops his combo. Oh, Ken's still posturing. Oh, misses with the shadow wind kick. I wish you guys could see Ken's hand as he does a breaker. He's like hovering over the buttons, looking for the animation. He hits it with all power, just wow! Oh! Snuffs the fireball attempt. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta pull the instinct trigger before the round ends. Ken's kicking himself a little bit here. <laughs> As a strategic faux pas. Oh, excellent pressure. Oh, burns both meters burns though. Burns both meters just to get more pressure on him. Oh, Dr. Dog coming back a little bit here. Dr. Dr. Dog. Dog may pull his instinct mode at some point. Dr. Dog leaving. Oh, oh. my goodness, combo break by Ken. Going back in for more pressure. Up oh, 32%. More pressure in the corner. Hey, Dave, that laser blade on hit it. That Double. laser blade on block is safe. Double, actually, even better than that. Double laser blade on block is plus one. So plus you see one. Ken using that to sort of continue the mix up. Send up frame traps. Yeah, it's a dirty oh, good instinct trap. cancel. Make sure that he's not going to get any lower on life. Oh! Dr. Doc says, I'll have none of that. So yeah. Ken back into the corner. Oh, and the big uppercut finish for Ken. Got to respect those anti-airs. I'm afraid you're a pat Awesome job, Dr. Doc. Give it up. Who wants to come challenge the one, the only? You, sir. We, got, we should bring out Adam for one. I think that'd be fun. Oh, yeah, let's close that with Adam. You know, after this, I might call up Ernest, our EP Ernest, to come challenge Ken. <laughs> but Ken told me he wants to beat up on Ernest. <laughs> so here we got uh, Cap Juan uh, versus Ken Lobb. Oh, excellent. Oh, we're, we're going. Uh, ooh, ooh, Ken going Saber it up. All right. Cap Juan versus Dr. Combo Breaker Ken Lobb. Ken Lobb is 3-1 uh, so far, only lost one match. Uh, no, he lost one. zero. No, he's undefeated. Oh, 
Oh, that's Sorry. Uh, several nations undefeated. Let me retract that statement. The spiritual godfather is undefeated still. You're going to have to kiss the rings after the broadcast. <laughs> I will pay homage. Oh, great mix-up to start off by Ken. Gets the overhead. Yeah, Ken using that high-low mix-up off the run really well. Capuan getting distance, trying to pressure with a fireball. Oh. Ken making his way in. Opens him up, linker. Ken pushing him off and then trying to set up the run. Mix up. Oh, nice air juggle by Capuan. Ken trying to apply pressure going high and low. Uh, I bet Gets we're going to see a wall square here. Goes for the nice damage ender. ender. Yeah, goes for the eclipse damage ender. Oh, goes oh. over the super. Clutch out of the run, jumps right over the fireball. Capuan using the wind kick well to get over the low pressure from Ken. I got a feeling Capuan's played some killer instinct before in his time. Ooh, great finish by Ken. Trying to keep the pressure on. Oh, Ooh. nice late shadow. Oh, Capuan could have followed up on that shadow into Kukin. Trying to get some space. Trying to get him out of the way. Oh, catches him with the fireball. Ken, the relentless pressure with Saberwolf's rushdown game. Ooh, off a wall splat. Recombos. Very oh, nice, Ken. Fades the DP, misses. Ken's punishing him heavy in the corner now. Oh, instinct Going to right reset in. off the wall. Up, oh. oh, Ken missing the juggle. Trades. Still tons of pressure put on Capuan right now. Will we Ken's see trying the to ultra? set up for the ultra. Oh, might have gotten too greedy. <laughs> Try to cross him up in the corner with a dash. Ah, oh, Ken catches him with the launcher. And the game's done. Let's congratulate Capuan for going against the godfather himself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, go for it. All right, I'm going to tag in Filthy Rich. Let's bring in the pros. All right, guys, check it out. Hop on over to the red part of the uh, stage over here at Mad Cats for a chance to play the legendary Ken Lob. Man, this guy is, what, 3-0 and so far? He's undefeated. That's all undefeated. I know. I think he's, he's five, maybe 4 or 5-0. and 4 and oh. Okay, so somebody. Who's brave? Oh, and look, up. even Art Arturo wants to Arturo get Arturo Sanchez or the FGC. All right, Mr. Oh. CPM, test your luck against Mr. Right. Ken Lab. we have Arturo Sanchez from Team Spooky. I think everybody... All the way from the East Coast to get blown up. Let's see ha what happens. Yes, guys, check it out. We're here yeah. at the Mad Cats booth. Make this E3. one a Mad CPM match. Let's go. All right, so, Ken, this guy. He Kill plays, him. He plays don't all go, Don't go easy on him. <laughs> but there's no Dalsim in this game. There's no Dawson, there's no Rose. Yeah, no, none of that. So the godfather of Killer Instinct, Mr. Ken Lobb, showing everyone he got game. Yes. Was there ever any doubt? No, there really wasn't any. No, I wouldn't. I don't know about that gun in GoldenEye, though. Yes. <laughs> that clobber. All right, it's clobbering time right now. Round it's one. clobbering time. Ooh, just out of range. Right, oh, nice. Opens him up with the forward heavy kick into a quick combo. Ken opens up. Nice Oki right there with a the follow for the meaty fireball. Arturo oh. not following through with his doubles, though. Good read on the uh, combo breaker there. Doesn't respect the wake up. Now Ken is going in. Oh, oh he stops him. Right there. Into a grab. That's right. Now Ken does have position. He goes to the neutral jump. Wow, what a read from Ken there. Nice combo and yes. a follow-up. All right, here we go. Clobber up one round versus Arturo Sanchez. Arturo Sanchez on notice right now. Taking a beating from the good godfather block. of Killer Instinct. Really good block though right there by But Gets followed up. Oh, he gets stuffed again. Here we go. Looks like Ken's trying to fish for something. Keeping right. his distance. All right, confirms the combo. Let's see what he does. Oh, nice read right there by Kenlop. Kenlop follows up with the back jump. Ooh, heavy. style combo. And now Arturo Sanchez with left with about 25% life left on this second bar. Oh. oh, he went for a reset opportunity there. It looks like not quick enough. Ken able to react and block. 
Now he is he has him in the corner right where he wants him. And this is where we're seeing most of the damage coming out from Ken. He's banging him out every single time he's got him in the corner. Okay, here comes Art. Shadow move. Gets the claws out. Oh, and he drops it. What's he going for? Using that advantage from the oh, nice shadow throw fireball. tech. Oh, walk up throw. All right, so Art finally takes that first life bar down. Let's see if he's able to make a comeback. He is on ultra notice right now. Oh, catches a midair. Both players still sitting on their instinct mode. Oh no, this oh, is gonna be this bad. Could be it. This should be it. Styling. And that's it. Can't that lob five and zero so far over here. Blows guys, up Arturo. Up for Arturo Sanchez, he doesn't get a shirt though. <laughs> Everybody else, guys, put your hands Who up if we you have? want a chance to play. Oh, I see. I see some people here. All right, I got my guy over here. He raised his hand first. And then I want to see Mr. Maximilian doing a lot of things for the community. If you guys didn't see, he had one of the first cool videos, basically showing off his excitement for the announcement of Killer Instinct. Getting just as many views as a trailer announced it. So big ups to Max. All right, guys, if you are walking by, what you're seeing on the big screen right now is Killer Instinct. Just recently announced over at the Microsoft press conference. We it's going to be coming out exclusive for the Xbox One. That's right. We are yeah. Double Helix Games. And we also have our amazing partners over here from Microsoft. And the legendary. The legendary Ken, Ken Lob, Lob, the, the Godfather. Godfather. The Godfather of Killer Instinct. The Clobfather. And he's going in right now. Yes. It hasn't been hit yet in this match. Right. Look at that combo. He's going for the seven golden letters right now. And Ken putting on a show for the crowd right now. Again, he's undefeated. Yes, no mercy whatsoever. Yeah, he's not holding back Mix on anybody. Overheads, maximum combo damage every single time. Excellent use of that forward heavy kick too. Yes. Keeps the pacing of the match. He's barely touched so far. All right, start off round two, 80 seconds left. So Ken Love just basically dominated that first round right there. He's reacting to those strings too. All right, nice throw in the corner. Oh, it catches him. Standing light kick. So far, great reads by the Clobbermeister. Able to combo after that fireball lands. Hits him with the hard knockdown. Nice. Goes Good to the stuff. hard knockdown right there for the end. Into the corner. Now oh. Ken's basically in his sweet spot. I have a feeling he's going to style on him. Oh, he's in ultra mode. Let's see what happens. Are we going to see a 6-0 six, six no so far? Could very well be, but let's not count out his contender. Okay, never mind. He's done. <laughs> He's done. Right, let's he see what happens. Done. Oh, no, he goes for that. He still has a chance. Oh, let's see what happens. Right, there it is. Here we go. Ultra. Ultra. All right, guys. Now, while this is going on, who's up next? Oh, okay. I'm going to. All right. Let's see. If so, Ken Love right now, 6-0. Okay. All right. We, we, have, have, we have a guest from the crowd. We have a nice Thank young lady you. over here who's going to put a stop to the streak. Hey, thanks for playing, man. All right, Come so on Ken, up. What's your name? I heard she's a killer. Helen? Helen. Helen, Helen. All right, good luck. All right, so Helen, the OG uh, Killer Instinct champ back in 97. Word? World champion. No, nice. I, but imagine. <laughs> just set the stage. All right, so guys, I'll if you were it. just walking by right now, we got... The OG himself, the godfather for Killer Instinct, right here at the Mad Cats booth, E3, Take 2, 2013, Ken Lob. You ever played Goldeneye? I'm sure you used the clobber. Or maybe you didn't use the clobber. <laughs> the clob. <laughs> the clob. But then now we have him playing on his sticks, doing big things. Doing big damage. Up. You can still taste the salt out of the six. I know the story I'm going to tell six everyone when I get on Twitter beat. later. Ken Law blew up Brian Hart. He blew up Dr. Dog. Yes. He blew up Arturo Sanchez. So no, far, there's no runbacks. <laughs> the FGC you had your is chance. a zero. Ken Lob a whole lot. I think nice breaker there. So Helen right now trying her chance against Mr. Ken Lob. And if, for those of you that are watching at home, spread the word Killer Instinct on the live stream at madcats.tv. And we're here at the Mad Cats booth. You guys want to check out Killer Instinct exclusively for the Xbox One from our friends here at Double Helix. That's right. Not only do we have this playable demo station over here featuring some amazing exhibition matches, we have a custom mill.
custom built arcade cabinet for everybody to line up. Let's bring back that old school arcade flavor up into the mix. If that line is too crazy for you, hop on over to the Microsoft booth. We have four dedicated stations for everybody. If you're playing pad or if you're playing stick, it's the place to be. Oh, wake up DP, find his mark. All right, so here we go. Ken Love showing absolutely no mercy for the 97 world champion over you here. Gotta re you gotta respect everyone. The Helen's way he does it is by beating everyone up equally. Yes. Nice. Helen's mix-ups are all washed up. <laughs> We're in a new age of combos. It's a, it's a different generation. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice you breaker from mash Ken. Oh, nice grab. Two for two on the throws oh, right now. Oh, instant overhead. What's he going to do? Oh, nice. Oh, man. Grabs him right out of his shadow so, kick. So far, no throw breaks. Uh, uh. Helen really going in. Oh, four throws. Knocks him down. Takes off the first All life right, bar. Give it up for Helen. It's a... It ain't over till it's over. Oh, nice, nice board right there. Activate Instinct Mode, trying to get extra damage. Instinct Mode does add to the block damage for the Saber Wolf. Really? So he does more chip in that Absolutely. mode? Absolutely. So Instinct's pretty much different for every character. Yes. All right, here we go. What's, what's Ken going to do? A, it's a little swole. Drinking his milk. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here we go. And Ken Love. And he All right, guys, give it up. Give it up for Helen, everybody. Helen, doing big things. That throw game. All right, right now. And everyone, give it up for Ken Love. He's the been only, doing work. Who wants to try? The only hope for the FGC left. We Oh, we have two. We, we have, have two. Let's get, let's get Max up here first. Let's get Max and then maybe Mr. Keats himself, Mr. Divekick. Come on up. Up on stage. All right, so Ken, this one's gonna be pretty tough, but good to see you again. Yes, Ken just went up to Max and said he's gonna kill him. Yes, he also <laughs> said the video was awesome. He loved everything. Yeah, I, I'm about ready for bed last night, kind of you know, E3, and I flip on and I see Max's video online about the thing we did at the Microsoft Store. Thank, that was. Yes, guys. Max. Everyone knows Max. An amazing model citizen for the fighting game community. Captain Content over here. Captain Content. <laughs> well, yeah, guys, you know what? If you want to be like Matt, uh, Max, if you're trying to look for more info about our game, you know, make sure to hit us up. You know, Ken Lobb is an open book. He loves to answer all your details, you know, even your top-level questions. I'm going to check Twitter right now to see what people are asking. That's right. If you're not following Ken, do it now. Do it now. All right, here we go. Round one. Maximilian. On 1P versus Ken Lob on 2. Ken's on. Oh. Sorry about that. Ken's on first player side, guys. So whoever's, whoever's got more damage up. That's yeah, Ken. that's right. <laughs> so Ken, Ken right now with a good lead starting up off the match. He's going in on Max right now saying, great video. Check this one out. Whoa. Whoa. And uh, he froze it. This All right. So they work in progress, everybody. Spooky. Of Ken Lob's matrix it off real quick. power abilities. So yes, guys, I mean, that's what it's all about. We're here hanging out, playing some video games. Ken Lob was like, you know what? I'd have it. Yes. We're, we're back. All right, folks, so we're back. Guys, check it out. Welcome back to E3. If you were walking on the great carpet, you were walking on the wrong side of the carpet. Hop on over to Come the right side. Come on into the Mad Cat's booth. On the Mad Cat's booth. We're here playing against the legendary Ken Lob. So far, how many? I don't even know how many games he's He's 7-0 uh, right now, I think. <laughs> All right, guys, if you watch it on stream, if you think you got what it takes, hop on over. Mark's going to bring you in. That's right. We're going to take a few more challengers, see what we can do. You can win some awesome prizes from the guys at Double Helix. They have some killer instinct shirts. That's right. We're going to play about three more matches, and I think we're going to grab people from the community and maybe some color commentary from our guys. Let's mix and match a couple of guys from our uh, development team, and let's bring Ken Lobb back on the mic, talk about what's going on in the game, Yeah. and fill everybody in. Oh, so now the tables have turned. Yes. Both players scared. That nice, right, nice combo, combo breaker. Combo. Ken activates instinct mode. And, you know, we were talking about it before. Each player's got something to basically show versatility with the instinct mode. That's right. Jago gains light over time. And he also has frame advantage. Oh, he doesn't hit. cancel the, the throw properly. He was going for it. 
Oh, right. here comes Ken with a combo of his own. Nice breaker there from Max. Great combo. Overhead. Right we'll see Ken Max stop the streak. Nice throw tech. All right, great read right there. Here we go. Oh, Max right through it. Great reactions there. Pulls out the shadow kick, and he's going to style with that combo. Nice 40% combo. And that's cool. This time we don't have to guess on a percentage. Yeah, it'll tell us. It'll tell us right there. All right, Max is still sitting on that first good. life bar right now, also with instinct mode, so he's got a chance to gain that life back. Very tense here. And Ken less but, than 50% life. But Ken does have him in the corner. This is where he wants him. Oh, nice. Overhead. Overhead. Is he going to confirm? Nope. There's the pressure there. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, he whiffs it, but he's going to take him out. So right. they're all both on their last life bar. All right, now with less than 50 seconds on the clock. Instinct. Instinct trying to activate it. Trying to gain as much life as possible. Power of the Taiga. Good read right there by Ken. Wow, he is healing up a lot of life. Ken using that forward heavy just to initiate on Max right now. Wow, confirms with the combo. Wow, that's some good stuff from Ken. We're pretty much even now. Overhead into the shadow uppercut. Right now, the only advantage Max has is his instinct bar. Let's see if he's going to activate or if he's going to get combo before Oh, he overhead. Can. Right now. Oh. Oh, Ken got him. What's going to happen? Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. He's going to go for the wall bounce. No reset. Just goes for the... Oh, he catches a nice breaker from Ken. It's going down to the wire. Oh. Ken laugh. Let's go! Oh no! Oh, here we What's go. gonna happen? They're both in ultra mode. What's gonna happen? Is Max gonna pull it off? All right, there nice. you have it. The first loss of the day. Give it up for our guy Max. All right, Ken. Great run from Ken. Yes, I'm gonna hand the run. mic back to you. That was awesome. Oh. All right, so pretty good run right over there, Ken. Yes, yes. Yeah, guys. You know what? Maybe what we'll do. Mark, Someone let's get your hacks. let's get your Twitter on lock. Ask, so, get some questions to come in. Uh, no mic. No mic. Someone should play Max, Adam. <laughs> you know. So long, long ago, I used to go to Japan a lot when Street Fighter first came out, and I had a couple. I was not your guy standard, but for 1993, I was pretty good. And I had a couple times where I'd walk into an arcade, beat somebody, and they'd, you know, uh Chotamate, and then they'd run off and grab someone else. And my favorite was I beat four guys. And then they told me that they're, they're like begging in broken English, please wait, please wait. And then they'd come back with this dude who just crushed me. And then they're like, oh, thank you, thank you for waiting around. It was the community in Japan early in the in the Street Fighter days. It was pretty awesome. I think we're bringing that back right now. I mean, yes. with games like this, fighting games, I mean, we're bringing that competitive side back into it. You know what? If you beat me, I bet you can't beat my buddy. So here we go. You know what? Right now we have Adam. Basically yeah, I, the the ringer. Yeah, Adam will combo break you. All right. Warning, Max. All right, so Adam versus Max. Adam, another another amazing contributor. You know, for the Killer Instinct team, he's working over on the publisher side, doing amazing things. Really sh help shape this game for the better of the community. Yeah, Adam is uh, actually my creative director for all the games we work on that are digital. So really, anything that's come out on XBLA in the last two and a half, three, four years, Adam has had lots of touch on that stuff. Including, of course, the signing of uh, Killer Instinct. So, so just to take my victories into context, I've played the game a couple thousand times, and I uh, must say I infinitely respect the fighting game community. I'm looking forward to losing a lot of fights as we go forward and you all figure out what I was doing. <laughs> That's right, you know what, and just to tease it to what we're going to be doing for the community. Oh, we've, we've Adam's got to move the joystick. All right, he's going to throw back. He's lapping it up. Yeah, what we were saying, we, we're going to be at Evo next. It's basically our next yes. big stop. we got a ton of surprises for people over there. Basically announced that Glacius is going to be playable. That's right. And I think we've been basically planting surprises for everybody. So there's tons of stuff that you guys need to stay tuned to. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that, that we're all very passionate about is 
you know, what the fighting game community thinks about the game. And so we're using things like the show to come out, show a couple characters, and then announce one. So here we show Jago Saber, we announce Glacius. Go to Evo, you can play Jago Saber Glacius, and we'll announce the fourth character. Come back to PAX, off to Tokyo Game Show if you like to travel, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Hang out in the Up heat. Up launch. Pardon? Yeah, hang out, out in the heat. Because it's a billion it's degrees in September in Tokyo. Oh my god, so Max. Looks like moving it into his lap helped Adam yes. there. You know, Guys, give it up. All right, right now we're basically going to have some of our community folks Thanks over again, here. Man. Let's get some people out in the stage 2v2, my two complete strangers. Let's bring it back to the old school days. Put your hands up if you want to hop on. And basically the winner, we got you first. We got you. Hop on over to the sticks. Winner of each match is going to go home with a killer in 6-6. Hop on over, man. I can't carry you. I got you. Dios X, man. Best center now on the West Coast. Let's go. Don't shake hands. Don't do that. Do that after. No, don't do that. You don't know him. All right, we got, we got uh, Dios X. A lot of guys on the stream probably know who he is versus... 1F Jeff. 1F Jeff. All right, guys. All right, so hop into the mix. Guys, we're gonna do about two or three more of these. Then we're gonna take a break over here. Hope everybody is enjoying the show. Guys, if you're over here at the Madcast booth, check out everything that they got. They got games, they're showing off some cool peripherals. Uh, the whole community and the team over here loves to talk with everybody. If you wanna hang out, maybe get an autograph or a picture of Mr. Ken Lob himself. He disappears after this. Guess he, he activates his ninja abilities. Actually, I wander around the show and play games. Yes. I, that's kind of what we do, right? <laughs> All right, Ken, here we go. Round one. Of a very experienced Marvel vs. Capcom 3 player here, Dios awesome. X. Oh, I know that name. Like most of you. All right, both players just trying to get a feel. Playing that footsie game right now. Alright, Dios X activates with that special. Nice breaker right there by one by Jeff. Oh yeah. Juggle, yes. You know, we got to see it. Dios X was one of the first guys who was over at our event at Century City when we featured the arcade for the first time around. So he definitely got a couple of good rounds in. And you can definitely see it in this gameplay. But imagine that's only about an hour worth of gameplay. Yeah, like I said, I think. Maybe that would have been enough to take me out if I'd still been up there and after about many hours again I, I uh, plan to try and be at Evo for at least uh, most of Saturday and look forward to uh, Watching me lose to a bunch of people that will get more practice than uh, at Evo It's all fun. I, I love to play All right, so it looks like Dios X is gonna take that first round ends with a fireball finisher gaining himself some extra bar right there Oh, nice. Jumping heavy. Shadow just to extend the combo just a little bit more. So he ran out of KD there, the bar on the side. You basically want to make sure you do a combo finisher before that fills. Because then you cash in all the damage that you've been building up through the combo. Um, the way it's working now is all your auto doubles will, will take half of your damage and make it now. And half of it caches away. And you have to do a combo finisher to earn that in. So it's like, you want to make sure that you finish your uh, combos with a special move. One of the things I really like about what they've done with the game this time is, you, know, you could say my KI1 and 2 uh, were a little too strict around how you use auto doubles and linkers. And the way the game is now, uh, basically you can do auto doubles in any order. So if you do an opener, you can hit an auto double on any of the other buttons uh, but the one you started with. Once you do a linker, you can go into a finisher, you can do an auto double. The auto doubles obviously have the risk of being broken, but they give you this big damage boost if you do a finisher. All right, now Dios X about to close round. Are we gonna see an ultra? Oh! All right, guys, give it up for Jeff over here. Get ultra. It's cool that you can kind of like say goodbye ultra while he's still getting combo. beat. You know, we lied. We lied about the shirts. Ooh! Okay, guys, we, 
Both of you get shirts, make your way towards the end of the stage. Give them a big round of applause. And you know what, on our next match, I just want to give our guys over here from the Air Force a shot to hop on his sticks. Guys, you guys do so Woo! much for us. And for everybody at home and for everybody on the stage, let's just give a quick round of applause for our boys over here. Thank you for all that you do. Right now is time. It's kill it, it's like time. Get them up for our guys over here. You know what, we got our two guys over here from Double Helix. Let's do some coaching over here. These guys are the guys who help make the game. Hey, what's up, man, Rich? We got Ruben over here on 1P. And Nick over here on 2. We're going to give him some coaches over here. Guys, one more time for our U.S. Air Force folks over here. Spending some time to play some games with us today. They're going to bust right. out those mad yes. skills of Insta-Twitch. You know, those things I lost like 20 years ago. <laughs> oh. So I think a lot of things that people have been talking about in the community is accessibility. Like, what are... You know, what are some things that you have, that we have in this game that you just love to talk about that make it accessible for anybody? Whether they play the fighting game or not, or if they play KI and only KI, or even like somebody like Deosex who, you know, concentrates on a combo heavy game, just like Marvel. I feel that it has so many things into it and it almost get lost in the story because I just keep on talking. But yeah. somebody to ask you, hey, what makes this game accessible, Ken? How do you answer that? So I think part of it is the thing I was talking about before, where with, with Killer Instinct 1 and then Killer Instinct 2, we were pretty strict about what auto doubles you could do when, how you had to go through this flow of open auto, link or auto finish, how you had to uh, understand a little too specific which things you used to break and it changed across all the characters. Now it's moved towards any auto double on any uh, button except for the one you start with. Every linker uh, can work really at any time, including right after openers, excuse me. And I think most importantly, it's, uh, as some of these people were showing, it's easier to read an animation and see it as uh, a combo breaker, but we left the system as thirds. So it's weeks break weeks, medium break mediums, and fierce breaks fierce. It's not hard to learn that, and once you've played against somebody a few times, especially people who can see fast, it's easy to see which auto doubles are happening and makes it easier to break. I think we're very passionate, you know, me, the team, uh, Adam and the guys, about taking what felt like, with the first two games, we did a pretty good job of reaching a medium-sized audience, but we didn't go easy enough, and we absolutely did not serve the kind of hardcore, uh, more tournament level. You could basically KI 1 and 2 devolved into a game of short, unbreakable combos. And I loved it, but it was it devolved away from what we were trying to do with big, giant combos. And now, we're, we're focusing on how do you allow all different types of gameplay. If you like doing four and five hit combos that are now not going to be impossible to break, but it'll be very hard to break. You'll get enough damage out of it, especially with the use of supers. And if you want to obviously do what we're doing and play the game thousands of times, you just constantly find layer after layer of depth. It obviously helps when you're in development because we can play the game on Monday. We should do this, and then on Tuesday, you know, there's more depth. But what, what you should understand is this build is about five weeks old in terms of balance, and the, the difference between this and what we're playing back in the office is already uh, amazing. Um, most important, I think, we're really looking for the input of the people that are playing, both out in the community, but also when people play online, to see how the game is balanced. Balance is vital. We don't want to have a character stand way above or way below all the rest of the characters. And I think that also helps with accessibility, because it allows us to do things like Saber is significantly easier to learn how to play. But I believe he's still very well balanced. So it's not like we made a gimped character so you can learn how to do uh, a longer combo with um, out having to use so many different buttons in the combo. His rabbits with Saber, you do open, and then you can go like weak punch, bam, 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 and get like 14 hits. It feels good. But once you know what the hell you're doing, you're just going, that's weak punch, combo breaker. So you when you when you start playing, you learn, well, you can't really do that. Unless, of course, the other person messes up a combo breaker and you get locked out, and then you fall back to these uh, rabbit bites because they do a ton of damage. So they have a purpose for both a beginning player and an expert player. That's perfect. <laughs> Long-winded. Yes. My bad habit. <laughs> All right, so right now we got our guys from the Air Force doing big things. We've seen a lot of cool things with these guys. Uh oh Nice. Oh, it's a nice hard reset into the throw. Oh. I'm afraid guys, give it up. Here. Very good. 
So it looks like we're coming to the end of our exhibition over here at the Madcast booth for Killer Instinct. Guys, one more time for our guys from the U.S. Air Force. All right. And you know what? I think we're, we're going to save our last match for a, uh, an international battle right here in our stage. Kayane from Team Madcats versus Ryan Hart. Let's just do it one time. These guys have a long history Woo! playing against each other. Our last match of the day. Guys, if you have questions or if you want to learn more about Killer Instinct, Hop onto our pages, hit us up on Twitter. I mean, it's we're gonna be really active this weekend. Not only that, but if you have friends who are here, tweet them, tell them to go to the Microsoft booth, check out the stations that we have over here. We have the legendary Ken Lab over here answering questions, filling you in on all the details for everything Killer Instinct. Not only that, but he can tell you some pretty cool life stories. And yes, here we go, final match. Two out of three, Ryan Hart versus Kayane. $7,000 money match. Just kidding. All right, here we go. Kayane, Where, where's you know, my seven thousand dollars? She was the uh, right, I, evil, I evil champion. Okay, that I won't. Yeah. She yeah. was the evil champion back in two thousand ten awesome. for Street Fighter Four. Ryan Hart. I remember commentating on his on multiple wins on his for uh, one of them was two thousand seven or two thousand eight for Tekken. But then the guys won multiple tournaments afterwards. And here we go. UK versus France right here. Okay, and I really take it a liking to Saber Wolf. Using those mix-ups with the dashes right now. But gets locked out. Ryan Hart looks like he's gonna be able to close out. Ooh, nice ender right there. Looks like he's gonna hop in the second round with two full bars on the bottom, about three quarters of his instinct bar also built up. kayana has got to try to figure something out right now. Alright, looks like Kayana's strategy is trying to max out, maybe get two instincts at the last life bar that she has right now. She's got to close out on Ryan. All right, we got the maximum KB forcing a knockdown right there. Those combos for all that damage. Isn't able to finish, but right now Kayane takes on. And again, just as mentioned earlier, Kayane just inches away from gaining another chance to pop that instinct mode. Gets that combo, she can pop it anytime she wants for cancel or for anything. But I think Ryan's gonna be able to close it out. Hits it up with the ultra. Are we gonna see a double ultra? Oh, can we see 70 hits? Oh. No, Ultra, do it now! Oh, oh my god, Ryan hits. Hart! Keep going, keep going. It ain't over. One more. Yes. Yes. One more, one more. Oh! 97 hits for Ryan Hart. You know what? That was too much swag. We got to end it right there. That, that, yeah. Nice. All right, guys. So for anybody at home, who, how do people get in touch? With the Godfather Kill Instinct. It's uh, at Real Club. That's Twitter. That's right. So, guys, hit him up on Twitter. We're going to be answering questions throughout the whole day. You know, the Double Helix team is here as well. You just we beat like my longest ultra. That was, like, <laughs> super awesome. <laughs> we like to give Very a big nice. thanks to our friends, partners over here. Of course, all of our guys over at Madcast showing some love, a ton of support, the community for tuning in. You grace us yep. with... You kicking some butt, man. No, I, I still like to try. That's I'm right. looking forward to coming visiting you again, and we'll have some more late nights of yeah, we work. Were, we were out like two weeks ago playing to like midnight. Oh, it was more like, like 1.30. <laughs> like, I think we have to go to sleep. No, more games. <laughs> All right, guys, so enjoy E3. We got more stations. Check it out. We're over at the Microsoft booth with four stations over there, three with six, one for pads, so don't worry. We're also, we got a nice couch set up for you in the back over here. That's right. And uh, we got tons of more events. 
Come back tomorrow, same time, same place. And uh, this is Filthy Rich from Double Helix Games. Ken Lobb from Microsoft Game Studios. Thanks a lot. Guys, thanks so much. Thanks, Ken.